All right, Zach, so you got four exercises for us with a med ball to train a spiral movement. All right, Zach, welcome to the Mile Alliance channel. You're also on our academy. Reach Thanks. out to this guy if you guys need some fitness help. Okay, so uh, we got four exercises with a med ball to sort of create that or train that rotational golf swing spiral movement, right? We talk about spirals on this channel sometimes. And when you look in nature, there's kind of spirals everywhere. We got a beautiful tree behind us. Oh yeah. That spirals, right? And a golf swing to some extent has some spiral movements, right? Yeah. So, um, let's get into it. Let, let's, let's do some exercises here. So what's your first one? Um, can I preface this a little bit? Yes. Okay. So the feet, you guys, the way, the way I understand the way the pelvis moves is oppositional forces with the feet, okay? And the way I like to describe this is like as if you're going to spin a top. When you spin a top, if you guys can all picture that, one snaps forward, one snaps backward, and that creates a lot of velocity. Now, if you were to spin that top, take both fingers and spin it the same direction, it wouldn't turn much at all. So with the feet, with spiral ground forces, that's the type of feeling I'm trying to get you to create. So with these med balls, we're gonna be doing things where we create force upward in order to create a spinning type of motion. So this kind of goes to our, what we would call on our channel, sort of the pressure shifts and then also reflexing or getting into the ground sure. to create that upward rotational. Sure. Right? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So these are, these are four drills I use a lot with my LPGA and professional uh, clients because we're able to produce forces that they understand or that us golfers understand because it's what we're trying to do with our swing. Now average Joe, maybe these things don't make a lot of sense, but if you're a golfer, this stuff might click in for you quite a bit. Um, so Henry's going to catch for me. Again, remember where we're starting with and it's our feet. These first four exercises, uh, or these first three exercises, we're going to have the same foot principle. And if you watch my feet, it's something like this. So the left foot is going to slide back towards me. The right foot is going to slide towards my left foot or my left heel. So Zach, if I can just really quickly point out too, when you do that, it's not merely just a, it's not just a dance move where I pull my foot back. <laughs> First, you're getting in the ground. You're reflexing. You might even press your left a little bit, and then it pulls back. That force, that drive into that, pushes you back. Yeah, we're trying to create some recoiling from the ground, right? Mm -hmm. our, our muscles are like rubber bands, and when you stretch them, there's a reflex to push back. So that's what I'm trying to do with this. And I'm trying to do it in a way that we're getting into transverse plane, where we're getting into some of those, those spiraling mechanisms in the fascia from the feet, and that's just our premise we're starting with. So this first exercise, we got med ball. I'm gonna have you guys do a rotational jump upward, and you're gonna push this ball up to the sky while you do it. So it'll be something like this. Oh. I like that one a lot. So if you watch my feet, they're spinning. But more importantly, my pelvis is pretty much staying in the same circle that I'm starting with. So it's a low down, pelvis rotates basically in the same spot as it would in your swing, and that's the target with this one. Zach, let's do one where I stand over here so they can see it down the line. Okay. So what I wanted them to see is, I, what I'm seeing, what I saw from over there was your chest, you got, you reflexed, and you really went down into here. Okay. Just like you would in the downswing and your transition. And your chest was even a little closed to the first beginning part of that. I mean, that's awesome. Dude. Cool. All right. That's a really good one. So you yeah. do that both sides? Yeah, we do that on both sides. Um, with certain people, I implement maybe a, a block in the front foot so that we can create more pressure off the lead foot. Um, but that's just the, the basic premise I start with, is the sequence from the ground upward to the appendages. And it's important to note with that, I don't care how hard you push that ball at the beginning of this. 
It's about how fast you can spiral that velocity and that force up through the hand and not just how hard you can shoulder press that ball up. If you shoulder press that ball up, what you're going to see is more of a drive off the right leg, more of a side bend with the right arm. And if we took that into your golf swing and created force like this, this is a pattern that we all see. And that's that over the top, I don't know, steep shaft, standing the club up. So it's a pattern that we can kind of influence with the ground, keeping arms loose and ready to go. Cool. All right. What's our second exercise? Okay. So this one, we're going to do a, a shot putting type of motion, a movement on the horizon, um, delivering some force down our target line. With your feet, we're going to set up the same. We're going to go down into golf posture and you're spinning the feet. You're pushing through the feet. You're creating drive upward where we're creating velocity down the line. Now, if you notice my sequencing on this, my right hand never passes the midline of my body. A lot of times when I see anything remotely close to this, we see right hand moving past your belly button right away. If we're talking about golf, we all know that the sequence is, is most important stuff. So when you're doing something like this, pushing through the ground, making sure your right hand always stays to the right of your belly button or right of the midline of your body. If it does that, your hips have turned out of the way and you should be good to go. Okay, let's do it down the line again for him. Okay. I want to point out one thing to them. Why don't you stay right there for a second? I just want them to know, like, look at this this angle you're on. You got your sort of a bend here from the, the hips. Your shoulders are still on an incline, right? And you, like you said, your hips have fully opened up, fully released. And let me point out something from a movement perspective that I see with this. When people's hips move forward, the shoulder, that, that plane flattens out a lot. Right. So this is crucial with the golf swing. It may be not talked about enough, in my opinion, from a movement perspective, is how important it is to have a lot of, of flex in your hips. So that way, when your pelvis does turn, yeah. these tilts happen naturally. And that's something we're trying to achieve with exercises, with a ball implement. So right. it's important to keep it. in mind. When you do it, you do it so well because you're not like this. Your first move is actually your butt sort of sitting down, you reflexing your knees, and you get that flex in the hips. Yeah, right? yeah, cool. Um, another one, this one, it can get kind of tricky. The first part of the motion is to do a, a keg toss. And here, we're going load down, and we're throwing that ball clear up to the sky. So that's the drill. Now, the exercise that I like to use is to incorporate that spin with the feet. So this ball is gonna go up over my left shoulder. And kill somebody. Yeah, so you, you guys need to find a, a place uh, that you can do this safely. It's maybe not at your uh, Don't public. Put a hole in your ceiling. Don't do this at your, your public commercial gym because you might, you might get somebody. Go to your backyard or something. But we're gonna load down to the right we're going to create that spinning force. And you see the momentum of this ball is already moving up in a spiral yeah. and it should just continue right up that. So here's how it looks. Maybe that was a bad one. Let's okay. try it again. So again, you're, you've already said though, it's not necessarily about how high or how far the ball goes, at least at first. Yeah. You're really just trying to create the right movement and, and pressure shifts and using the ground. If you guys are watching my feet, they're spinning a long way, right? So one thing I like to point out too is if we zoomed in here, you're going to see that he's tearing up the ground a little bit. And when you watch long drive guys or like Bryson Shambo, they leave like footprints in the ground yeah. when they're on the range. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now you shouldn't do that on the putting green. Yeah. <laughs> When you do it on the range, if you're doing your, if you're using your pressures right, you're going to start to see some patterns here, right? So that's something that if they did these exercises and they really get the form right, they're going to start to feel how to reflex, how to use the ground better to initiate the action they want. Because a lot so. of people are just trying to spin. Yeah, 
I think so. And like I've said, this is a, a series of, of med ball drills that I've used with my professionals to really get them to feel the next step. Because mm -hmm. we might be all, be all be playing at a high level, but might not all be able to feel the forces that we hear everybody talking about. Mm -hmm. So let me show you the last one. <clears throat> now this one's just a little bit more athletic-y type of motion. Um, it's going to be a lunge into the right leg and then you're going to jump and spin out of that. Um, it's the same principles with the feet. I'm just positioning you into a weird position that you're probably not going to think about rotary jumping from. So that's the motion. you got right leg lunge forward, jump, spin to the left, and we just add. So you do right leg forward, not left leg forward. Correct. Okay. You guys are going to be jumping towards the inside. Yeah. And the feet are kind of working the same as they did on those spirals. So with the med ball, we're just going to do something here. Now, could you do left leg forward? or do, would Sure. You not so if you go left leg forward, you're just jumping up to the right. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't know if you could go, if you would go like that. I don't love to do this. Um, I, I don't, I can't really explain why. Extra work yeah. That... yeah. The left leg doesn't clear as easily. Yeah. as it should um, or in comparison to the golf swing yeah um, and I think that you would see the, the more of a tendency for people to jump forward rather than backwards and if we're talking how this relates to golf anything you do like this is no good right so that's our our classic early extension yeah, um, yeah and that's why I don't like that one okay. so I like always jumping towards the inside getting hips to clear and what, what I think about most importantly is your pelvis staying in the same circle that it gets to when you're down here. So if you're watching from the side, you'd see my pelvis stay right in basically in the same spot, but everything else spins out of the way from it. I think one other thing I've, I picked up on is with you doing these spiraling motions and, and working upward, right? I think there's a, a thing that goes on in golf where you start to think that one, you need to hit way down on the golf ball and that your hands need to travel way down but when you look at the golf swing the hands are actually traveling up and around us in the motion right yeah the circle what creates the shaft lean is really what we talk about a lot is the right wrist extension right and the sequence right mm -hmm. so when you do this right you're getting into a position like that where your right wrist is back on this ball and you're you're driving that ball up and around the corner you're not driving that ball down no no very seldom i will do stuff that's rotary pattern down because it's coming from inertia throwing that ball down rather than us pushing upwards right so so it might be one thing to think about too as you're doing these motions is <clears throat> although the ball's going way up and you might think oh my gosh if i bring it up the golf course i'm going to start chunking it or flipping yeah. it yeah contradictory you're going to do the opposite because you're going to get the sequence down reflex into the ground and you're going to understand how to move that ball through the hitting area better yeah i, li I like that and it just kind of reinforces you from creating these other patterns that cause these other bad type of positions in our swing mm -hmm. so i like the the stay down in posture keeping shoulders in the right inclination keeping hips in the right angle and then how to create force up without your head tipping backwards or standing up yep. cool. well thanks for watching guys and you can get uh, Zach's information below using a link and uh, we'll see you next time